success vibes. One thing I noticed about myself, I think, you know, thoughts is powerful yeah. in all facets. Because even my career, even my life, you know, things end up turning out exactly how I visualized them. Not in this time frame I expected. You always want shit to happen overnight. But I just had clear visions. And uh, your thoughts powerful. That shit come to life if you stick to your script. It's about seeing long term, seeing a vision. Understanding that nothing really worthwhile happens overnight. And just sticking to your script long enough to make something real happen. The main, most important thing, number one, is you got to get rid of doubt. If you got doubt in what you're doing, it's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? And the way to do that is you have a plan. Because you got a plan, it's not like just a pipe dream. You have a step-by-step -step list of things to do to get to your goal. If you don't have that, it's very hard to really have faith in what you're doing. As soon as something pop up, it's going to look like the end all. But if you got a game plan of everything you need to do, you know, one thing pop up, well, I still got to do this, 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 and that, so all this ain't going to stop me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing pop up, well, shit, I accomplished this two things. I since this my last obstacle. I only got three more things to do. Let me keep pushing. Fuck it. Pretty soon, you 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 attained your goal. And then you create another one. But without a game plan, without a, a strong sense of faith in what you're doing, real hard to accomplish anything. You know, it's a lot of obstacles out here. Family, baby mamas, you know, your homeboys being involved in a, in, in a crab in the bucket syndrome. Where, you know what I mean, you making moves and, and starting to make your way out and people start trying to attach themselves to you. And sometimes it's like kamikaze, they throw themselves up trying to stop you. So, you know, you just gotta, you gotta have faith in what you're doing and not take no for an answer. You'll get it. It'll be a long run, but you'll get it. For sure. We got turned down. We failed. Had setbacks. Had to start over. A lot of times. You know, but we kept going at it. In anybody's case, that's always the distinguishing factor. The name of the brand obviously is the Marathon, and it just stands for endurance. It stands for staying down. It stands for like not quitting, accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to, and riding it out. You feel me? You know that's the reality of success or greatness. That it come with a roller coaster ride. You know. I think that anybody could apply the marathon concept to what they do. If it's sports, if it's fashion, if it's music, if it's hustling, whatever, you on a marathon. I don't even rap, I get money, but fuck it here. here I'm up every day, trying to make a no way. Cap. Bro said it's ever beef, he gon' grab that K. Two men's in the summer, shout out my nigga Day. Sick, bro, hit your bitch, shout out my nigga Zay. My touch bands off them ground, that was back in May. Riding backseat with no plays, man, you niggas gay. Back. Bro, want a couple peas, meet me at the bay. If you try some dumb shit, leave a white boy gray. I'm really different with this shit, if I up, I spray. Gang. Hey, Tim, M shit, nigga, y'all know what it is. Hey, hey, hey. TLBLTYP shit, bitch. TLBLTYP shit, bitch. Hey, hey, hey.